After giving the discount of 16%, a shopkeeper still earns a profit of 19%. If the article is marked Rs. 1350 more than the cost price, then find the mark price of the article. Here you can solve this question in two methods. First is formula method that is you already know cost price and mark price ratio is 100 minus discount is cost price and 100 plus profit is mark price. Then the difference between these two is 16 percentage plus 19 percentage which is equal to 35 percentage and this 35 percentage is equal to 1350 because 100 minus discount means 100 minus 16 which is 84 percentage and 100 plus profit means 119 percentage. Now difference between these two is equal to 35 percentage. Now 35 percentage is equal to 1350 because mark price is 1350 more than the cost price that is difference between MP and CP is equal to 1350 which is 35 percentage. Now we need to find out what is 119 percentage. So 119 percentage is equal to if 35 percentage is 1350, 119 percentage is equal to 1350 divided by 35 percentage into 119 percentage. Now here 7 goes 5 times in 35, 7 goes 1 time in 11, 7 goes 7 times in 49. Now 5 goes 2 time in 30, 5 goes 7 time in 35. Zero. So, 217 into 70, which is equal to here. If you look at the end of the digit, this is 0 and 7 into 7 is 49. So, 90 will be in the end of your answer. So, option D is your answer. That is, this is 4590. Now, if you don't know this formula, here discount. Discount means negative. 16 percentage means 16 by 100. Now, discount 16 percentage means if 100 part is the marked price. Then 100 minus 16, 84 part is the selling price. Same way, profit means plus. So profit is 19 percentage means plus 19 by 100. Now this means if 100 part is the cost price, then 100 plus 19, 119 part is the selling price. So you can take the ratio from this. Here selling price in the numerator, here selling price in the numerator. So I need to cancel these two. Then I can take mark price and cost price ratio. That is here sell price and mark price ratio is equal to 84 raised to 100. Same way I need to cancel sell price. So I write sell price here. So cost price and sell price ratio. Cost price and sell price ratio is 100 is to 119. Now I can cancel sell price. Now the remaining ratio is cost price and mark price ratio. So which is equal to 100, 100 cancel 84 is to 119. Now you can see the difference is 35 which is equal to 1350. So you will get this answer anyway.